What's good, guys? Today is Saturday, May the 22nd, 2021. This story came out on the 20th. It's coming via Newsweek and an article wrote by Emma Meyer. And I want to thank my friend Marie722 for sending it to me. Man arrested in death of toddler whose heart was ripped in half. The boyfriend of the mother to 17-month-old Aiden and Clark was arrested on Thursday with preliminary charges of murder, aggravated battery, battery to a minor causing death, and neglect of a dependent causing death, reported WREG. Shaquille Rowe, 27, was first arrested on Wednesday for the death of the 17-month-old Monday in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He posted $50,000 bond and was released from jail later that afternoon. Fort Wayne police stated that Rowe was arrested again in his home shortly after. The Allen County Coroner's Office said the child died of blunt force injuries of the chest on Monday, ruling his death a homicide. A probable cause affidavit stated that Roe heard crying when he got out of the shower, when he was in the shower, and he got out to find that the toddler was on the ground beside an inflatable air mattress, wheezing as he was not breathing. His twin brother stood crying over him. The affidavit said he started to perform CPR on the boy while he called 911. The affidavit also said a dispatcher heard him say, quote, why did she leave me in the house like this, end quote, referring to Jasmine Clark, his girlfriend, and the boy's mother who had left him with the children. Fort Wayne police and paramedics were dispatched to the home around noon on Monday, reported WREG. Paramedics who treated him noted significant bruising around his neck and chest, possibly from, quote, some type of abuse, end quote, as stated in the affidavit. Jasmine arrived on scene shortly after medical personnel and was, quote, very emotional, asking what was going on, end quote, the affidavit reported. She went with the boy who was taken to the hospital in critical condition where he died. According to WREG, the autopsy found that the child suffered from a fractured sternum, and the affidavit said that, quote, his heart was ripped in half, end quote. The boy had a massive amount of hemorrhaging from a torn pericardium sac and hemorrhaging around his left kidney and pancreas from supposed blunt force trauma to his midsection. The affidavit stated the child likely died within minutes after suffering his injuries. WANE-TV is in communication with the boy's grandmother who had called them with tears of joy after learning Roe was back in police custody. His court date is set for Monday, according to WPTA. No further information has been released, but Fort Wayne police say the investigation is ongoing. Newsweek reached out to the Fort Wayne Police Department for comment, but did not hear back before publication. That story... Mm. How could you hit a child so hard... That you literally rip his heart in half. And how in the hell did he manage to pull off $50,000 bond? It, that's why you don't sit the bonds like that. Especially for someone who harms a child. It just, um, this story did something to me as well. I definitely wanted to bring it to the channel. And I will be following it as well. Thanks for watching, guys.